comic book game I, cre- I created, and it was on the last episode of Thinking Box. That's such a cool intro. Anyways. Wait, have we started? <laughs> that's such a yes, cool intro. That is. That was a pretty neat Thank intro. You. That's literally the intro. Yeah, it's in- that's the intro. Every time, that's the intro. That's the intro. And I, I pull it out of nowhere. That's the whole point. That's the intro. That's the bit. That's the bit. That's the intro. That's the work, guys. We did it. We did it. Uh, we can close the yes. podcast now. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, see, uh, it was great having you on. Uh, yeah, thank I, you so much. In yep. in brackets, shakes your hand. No. <laughs> Tough. You have, you have cold hands. <laughs> in brackets, grasps your hand and does not let go. <laughs> we are one. Crush it. Crushes it. Crush my hand with a hand I must. Oh, so I can't do that. I found this. I found this thing called phrasegenerator.com, right? And it just makes okay. random fake phrases. Like, here's my favorite Old Testament verse. I say unto thee, make ye not pots of wheat, but vessels of cloth. That sounds real. It isn't. It's all fake. Kitsum did cooketh boxes of cocaine and was sinful in the eyes of the Holy One. As, as someone who is a self-proclaimed atheist, most of what I've read of the Bible is just like, Phrases that sound like they mean something but mean nothing. For the everlasting God hath not given a spirit of cartoonility, but of joy and diligence. And my favorite one is wine reviews. The 2008 Red Zinfandel from Machivia Bros Winery brings us to an easy to miss Scrooge's garlic essences with a non toxic hazelnut bouquet. Who is this guy? This seems like a Jax Films generator right here. The <laughs> yeah. Steve oh, Bush. Steve Buscemi's eight incredible Halo tips. Number it's catchy. one. Yeah, it, number one. Uh, it seems like a, you know. Did I tell yeah, you guys exactly. I almost made a fan film about Steve Buscemi? Why? I was in film club freshman year of high school. Me and Trey went to one meeting, and it was clear that no one wanted to actually make movies. So we were, the, and me and Trey had an idea for a Rocky parody called Buscemi, and. We were like got the script people together, and everyone there was like, "No, we don't want to make that. We're gonna make something different." So me and Trey quit. That's dumb, yeah. Yeah. Come on, I finished my intro at. I, the server's like, you have to do your intro, but I think all the people are like Australian time or some gay shit like that. So like they approve it at like three a.m. Well, you're usually up at three a.m. You're a night owl. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Not anymore. I usually sleep earlier now, but... Well, he's being healthy, guys. Wow. I know, right? It's cringe. Cringe. We're just gonna, that, we don't really talk about anything. I will if you bring that up Horror. again. I'm going to Let's... unplug his Wi-Fi router. Blah, 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 the poop right there. I don't know why I love that video so much. I hate you. <laughs> End of sentence. Just I hate. I hate. I feel hatred. Tango hate. Tango hatred. Tango circles it's... in space. Anyways, generate. Uh, I'm gonna read this like a Tinder bio, like a Tinder bio. Uh, hey, I'm Ainar Aloro, female elf, permalink, person, personnel, a stocky, dark, darker skinned woman. Okay, so we're dealing with a whammon. I don't even know if I can find that. You know, you know the TikTok I'm talking about, right? Where it's like, hey Siri, find me a, no. find me a big, beautiful big. woman. No, I'm on Star Wars Roman. and gay people TikTok. We know you are. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on that TikTok. I can probably find it real quick. Do you guys, um, Roman. you guys want to tell stories from our D and D campaign? I wouldn't even uh, know what to pull up, dude. Or think doormat. about doormat. Yeah, can we talk about doormat? I don't. Okay. It's what even was the doormat before it was a doormat? I um, it, he was a, he was a guard at a prison. A big, that... Beautiful woman. Yeah. Are you Ooh. Here, I'll explain the story. Um, <laughs> basically the the party was doing. I'm the DM, by the way, so this is my fault. Um, the party was doing this this thing 
they were doing a side quest and they got this magical amulet that was a level nine spell slot. And so Andrew, who was playing Midnight, a wizard, had it. And we, we they were we were just talking to these random guards and and Andrew went, Hey, by the way, I'm gonna turn that guard into a talking doormat. And I was like, Are you sure that you, it only has one use? And he did. He just did. And now the party just carries around a talking doormat. Didn't like, I change? Oh, didn't, like, you gave us these, like, god amulets, and it was like, all right, he buys the hotel chain, he makes the yeah. doormat, and I just changed my gender. Yeah, Alex bought a hotel chain and then never came back to any of the sessions. So, um, and then you changed your gender with it. At least we've been able to incorporate the... Yeah, Ganroth Hotels Incorporated. Uh-huh. Because we, yeah, you guys have gone there a couple times. How much you we guys get stay in there royalties free. for Ganaroth hotels? Um, you guys Nothing. killed Ganaroth actually, so you guys probably get everything. Yeah. Well, the 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 last session is this weekend, so I mean. You're gonna I... give us our money. <laughs> and we'll deserve the money for murder. We we defeat we defeat Tiamat by scooping up all our money and buying like a very large gun comically large gun yes exactly <laughs> no we we do the actual comically large spoon we buy we we buy oh, i really wish one of you used your spell slot to buy a comically large spoon we buy aluminum right like or whatever Raw spoons aluminum. are made out of we we don't buy the spoon we buy we buy <laughs> stuff work, to make it we buy start the next session hey dragon it. goddess bent on destroying the world we're gonna go find the big spoon you hang tight <laughs> We're gonna That's get... how we should start it off. Is ah, you need to find spoon. the comically large spoon. You know, ah, I, I can spoon. I can work with that. Yeah, it's that's you need right. to find the comically large spoon. Comically we should, large spoon. And we should just like it seems like it would be a, a time a big adventure. You just go into town first man you didn't talk to. Hey, is there a comically large spoon? Yeah, next door. And Pickle he just Pete has one. The couple. Who? Pickle Pete. Probably Honestly, large. I wouldn't be sur- I wouldn't be surprised if Pickle Pete just had comically large spoon. spoon. It, Ed, are you gonna incorporate Pickle Pete into your campaign? I kind of have to. Oh hell yeah! I I'm gonna incorporate him into the out um, of context. I'm gonna incorporate him into the um other game I'm doing. Do you want to like explain the lore of Pickle Pete? Okay, so basically, this no, is... we don't want to explain the lore of Pickle Pete. I hate you know what, Pickle we won't. Pete. Uh, I how else Pete. are we gonna reach I... the one hour mark? Okay, that's I'll true. Pickle Pete. So. This was it started in our first game, and this was me and Felix's first time playing D and D. Ed wasn't even in our group. Yeah. And in the very first session, the DM was like, "Hey, this guy helps you out. He's a very old man. He's very drunk. It's Pickle Pete." And the whole thing was everyone in the party loved him. My character hated him. But at the end, my character forgave him and gave him one of my daggers as like penance. The character left. You kept that- murdering him, and so we would kept kicking you in the balls. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. You guys kept kicking my character in the How balls. How dare you damage. murder me? <laughs> and then. I brought him back in my campaign, the second session, and then at the and then in the third session, I believe, um, he died, and then in the fifth session, I brought him back and he died, and then basically every session from then on, I would bring he would come back and then die in a different way, so I'm basically building him up as some like old forgotten god, and the first DM is so mad at me because like he was just supposed to be a character to help out you newbies. My guy just dying and undying. Because he annoyed. What, what were some of the ways he died? I know you guys cancelled him once. <laughs> we blew him up while he was on the moon. Y- yeah, he was on the moon, and Felix's character put a lightning bolt through the moon and destroyed it. We stabbed him in the same dungeon where we got the doormat. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a crazy session. And his son. Guys... No, his son survived. His son's still out there. Okay, we're going to kill him real quick. Give me a second. I have to think of how we're we're session. Okay, we gotta find the, the jester. We'll come back. Okay, team, Matt, you wait here. We're gonna get our spoon and then this jester. <laughs> okay. We're I, gonna get I, the I, spoon I, and we're gonna kill my, the jester. No, 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 no. I use my shenanigan points to just have her coincidentally step on him or whatever. You know what? Oh, Nothing he's probably into that. You don't. You don't even. You know. You don't even need a shenanigan point. This is gonna happen. Yeah. He's gonna run in like guys. I want to help. Like if you were Felix, turned why did on you by add that. Groovy to the server? Like, why did you add Groovy to the VC? Because find me a big, beautiful woman. That's what I played, and nobody noticed. 
I noticed. No, we noticed. We just ignored I was it. giving a thumbs up, but thumbs up aren't uh, audible. God, I wish brackets, they were. Brackets, thumbs up, brackets. When you, <laughs> when you give it thumbs up, it just goes like... Like, there's just like a... I mean, you could do that by snapping. It's like a Seinfeld intro. <laughs> Whenever you thumbs Felix, up, you the way Borat it's yet? oriented makes a different have I zoom what? noise. Borat yet. Dude, I'm so busy. I will totally watch Borat, but like I am... It's literally like your exact humor just on a movie. The amount of Jew hatred is just at eminent. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I like to hear. <laughs> Jews. Find me a big, guys, beautiful... Guys, I know, I know what we can talk about, and this will for sure reach the hour mark. What? Norman. Norman. Norman, dude, Norman. I made a, I made a server, and nobody's helping. Norman. I made a server you, about Norman, and nobody's helping you, me out. You like, didn't you didn't invite me. Yeah, you didn't invite me either. I didn't invite you guys. Oh, I invited Andrew. You. Well, that's why no one's helping you out. I, no, Andrew didn't accept the invite yet. Bro. Oh. Bro. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate salmon, dude. Dude, I hate salmon. salmon. (laughs) Women want me, Uh, fish fear me. Women love me, me. fish fear me. You know it fits him, too. You know it fits him. No, he he had two kids. Do you guys want um, to to tell the story? Because I think if we do, it'll sound really sketchy. It, Dude, he sounds like a pedophile. I wouldn't. Because no, we've already said his name, and I don't want him to sound like a pedophile. I was talking to Jillian about him. He was like, is that guy a vagrant? This guy huh? sounds like a pedophile, and you know it. He sounds like, he, yeah, he yeah, was he talking does, to us about I mean, sex like, for like like 30 minutes. No one cared. He's, he's, he's like cool, the sweetest so. guy. He was, like, he was like legitimately a super nice guy, too. He has he too was, much dignity. To... Sweden. He was from Sweden, which yeah, I thought was, was interesting. He wasn't he from been... Sweden, he just lived he, there. He lived there for a while. Yeah, for like three years, he said? Yeah. Yeah. He just, just seems like a very worldly directly. guy. Like, he's got a lot of experiences. Mm-hmm. I like the man. Yeah, I like him. If he's I ever see him in public, pog. I'm gonna yell to him. Hi, Norman. Dude, imagine we got him on here, like, preaching. Dude, oh, that dude, would be, be the best. amazing. Yeah, that's why I was thinking that, that we should have gotten an his enlightening episode. Just like we get him on here and he's like, now salmon. You guys need to start a movement against salmon. You gotta start a movement. Against young people. Against the young people. He kept kept calling us young people, but also seemed to be against young people. Not really. I don't know where you got that. No, he he seemed to be against the fact of like people are different, but also called us young people. He was, he was, he's very anti corporation. Yeah, it was I am too. It was more so was some, anti-monopoly, if anything. There was also a little bit, little bit of communism mixed in there. I mean, it was, yeah, he, no. You need a, you need a tiny mix of that with capitalism in order for it to work, really. He was yeah. really like a socialist and a capitalist at the same time because he's Norman. Yeah, yeah dude, Norm, he's, he's Norman is just he huge. Goes he's the, the perfect. He Capitalist, he truly Marxist, is. communist. I don't care about these is. Just let me the thing is that get he, a bed. He voted for Joe Jorgensen, and that's actually pretty not cool. Normonomics. Yes. I feel like Norman was, might have been a teacher before he had kids. Like, legitimately, Possibly. he talked like one. I'm trying to find out who who was there. Um, And then Trey was there. Am I friends with Trey yeah. on this? What's Trey's name? Batman. Uh, yeah, uh And what? T money. Uh, who was who um, was there? Um, it was me, you, Andrew, Ed, and Trey. Trey didn't say anything. I asked him why. He's like, I just want to listen. Like, I didn't even want to add anything. He was just he was just that cool, man. Yeah, Trey literally just listened, dude. Don't even don't oh, mess yeah. with him. Yeah, I'm like honestly, like I, he probably I, retained I the most information. There sometimes. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted we to forget add Trey, stuff, but like Trey's easily the hottest one though of our group. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, not gonna lie, I kinda that. wish I looked like Kyle. That ass? Yeah. Why? You're like decent. I look homeless. You look decent. Thank you. You're like you generic also like American boy, but without the baseball cap. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't like hats. Lame. Yeah. Dude, I also hate hats, don't worry. Yeah, because we have dyed hair. You actually, have, you actually have something to show off. I have generic short blonde hair, like no. every other American. Boy. Hats make me really, really, really uncomfortable. 
How? For no reason. I don't know. I don't like hats. There, there are just certain things that neurodivergent people are just made uncomfortable by for no reason. Right. Yeah. Mine That's is true. F- mine is like wearing socks with no shoes. I can't do it for more than like five minutes. Huh? You don't like? F- I like feet. I know. I I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people think I like feet, but I don't. You you seem like the kind of person who would have like one weird kink. They aren't suspicious of me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. I am in. They trust me. Yo, you guys, yo, you guys like, uh, you guys like armpits. So, I actually hear so, people are into that. Yeah, yeah that's the worst part about it. How do you even fucking armpit? You like, don't. You just like let's change you the sniff subject. them, dude, dog. I don't know. Let's change the you... subject. Lick them? No, no, I'm interested. Wiccan. This little I... girlfriend's a Wiccan. I am Catholic. I am not a Wiccan. My girlfriend. I a looked witch. into like witches and like witch talk and stuff. Like, I want to get into it. It's just not for me. It's kind of wacky. Do you know those people that legitimately believe in the Force oh. from Star Wars? That's also wacky. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an officially yeah, recognized religion in the UK. That's called having Down syndrome. Yeah. No, you know what? People with Down syndrome probably are like better than that. I know, I know, good Downy guy. Actually, I actually do have a Down. Robert Downey. Downey. Screw you, Robert no, like, Downey. I met him in, like the. You eighth, look like Robert I met him Downey in, like, syndrome. Grade, and he you was like, I think he was in like in... the seventh grade, and I thought he was a sixth grader because like you know Downey, but whatever. You know, he was like. What was normal. his name? I don't remember, dude. I what met was him his in, name like, and the, home address? I met him. <laughs> Uh, his social security was eight, 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 eight. And and throw in mother's maiden name while you're at while you're at it. Uh, Joanne. That's uh, that was too real and too quick. Another what? I mean, huh? Anyways, okay. you uh, I met him in like it's great, like PE, and I just like I remember. Getting his name, I do not remember his name. Okay. I invited both of y'all to the the Normonomics server. I call it uh, I, I made I gave it a really culty name. The Illumin the The Ill- the Illuminated Congregation of the Reborn Souls. That is the most cult shit I've ever heard. The yeah I love it. I have just like uh, you you gotta know how to make a cult name. The yeah, Illuminated Congregation of the I kind of just have, sucks. like, backup Discord servers. Yeah, yeah I do. No, I, I have really so have a lot. many notifications on my Discord, because, like, 90% of my Discord servers I just don't respond to. It's because of you. Uh, keep making Discord <laughs> servers. <laughs> just make more Discord 1, Discord 2. Yeah, can I, can you get in my Discord server? When did you even get Discord? Money? Like, how long have you guys been using it? Uh, a uh, couple of years. I I first got it like once, like in eighth grade, then deleted it a day later. And this past summer, I redownloaded it. I think around like sixth grade, actually. Damn! Like we got a veteran. The few, the proud. Yeah, no, that was like a while ago. Back when I was like into one, two, three, Salami Street. Good horror game, but like, eh, scuffed. What were some really cringe fandoms you guys used to be a part of? Um, I wouldn't really call it cringe, but like the other people definitely were cringe in there. That was it, really. Yeah. Well, that really that goes that for any the, fan. Like, I'm like you. That was part the, of the Star Wars. Uh, fan, like, that's when the first sort of podcast happened. I was on that server oh, wow. with PJ Does Games and the developer Nate Sanders. Oh really? yeah, you were. That's cool. I was. I there are a lot of fandoms that can get toxic. Like I'm big into Spider Man and like comic books and that stuff. And like some of the people there take these fictional. You're talking. Like, you're talking to the dude who likes My Little Pony. I don't think you guys get to talk about bad fandoms. Dude, people have literally been like driven to suicide because of people in the Star Wars fandom. Why? <laughs> okay, but people okay, but like <laughs> seriously. I take Star okay. Wars pretty seriously, but not that seriously. Okay, like, I buddy, like Star Wars. But like, oh my God. 
you're talking to the dude who wears cat cosplay. I'm like, b- talk about bad communities, dude. The cat community. There's a cat community? No. Um, Go to the field. <laughs> Go there's to this field. one community that I'm in. I'm not going to say because I'm not going to dox myself, but... Um, what do you mean, dox it, yourself? It's basically supposed to be like a wholesome community. This community and like, is oh, hilarious. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a wholesome community. And then there's a completely subgenre of it. Where you have sex with children. Yeah, that makes that just grosses me out. Like when I first learned about that, I was like, yucky, yeah. yucky, yucky. Yeah, sex hey, with Siri, children. Pog I'm your big beautiful <laughs> just woman. Back to this. Remo- yeah, just replace a woman with child. Child. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ. Plump child. Also, I'm gonna have a staff chat in the in the Norman server. For just Pog. anybody who's saw, do, what, any, what anybody who's met Norman, roles wise, um, <laughs> I don't know, just some culty roles. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got to work Norman this into prophet, it somehow. Steve. Here are the books Sam in Ames. order. Sam Here are the books in order. So when you when you do um the quotes from the book, like how I did Psalm four one, Psalm five seven. Oh, but you remembered these. Yeah, th- he talked about the world, farming, politics, sex, humans, homosexuality, and protests. Anti salmon propaganda goes in farming. Uh, and so any of the anti salmon propaganda would be Psalm 2 dash, and then you just put in any number 1 through 20. Just I told random, some of my friends to school it. about Norman, but I didn't give them all the information. Same. So like, I, I felt like if I like mentioned what more than that, then it sounded like. Then he cool. would appear. He no, no, no. no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> school today. He would appear. It's Monday? Yeah. yeah, it's Monday. Did you not do your online work? Oh, wait, I did. Dude, I don't know what day it is today. I literally have no concept of time. It's Bro, 6 o'clock. That happened to me when I was doing online. I did, like, back in nothing person, today. Like... I went there. I, like, got in my desk. And then it was the next period. And I did the exact mm-hmm. same thing again and again that's... and again. That's what school's been feeling like recently. Dude, like, just bitch... kind of there. And then, like, six period hit me. And it's like, yes, sir, I will do my work. The and then second module. seventh period is Screw like, you. oh, this is interesting. You have a seventh period? Yeah. We just go to six. Okay. Blaka, blaka. Do you not count lunch as one? Well, no, lunch isn't a period. Lunch you know what's funny? Fourth. You know what's I, funny? You know I what's funny? I count lunch as a period. That's how this schedule well, you're goes. stupid and dumb. Well, it still takes up a slot, dude. Oh, for it, for us, it just doesn't take up a slot. Okay, oh, hear dumb. me out. You know what's really, really dumb. crazy? You know what's really, really crazy? Huh. What? The fact that, like... This is a bad bit. Uh, no, I can't remember. I legitimately can't remember what I was going to oh, say. Oh, I thought you were, like, hey, guys. <laughs> you was, you That was, was not crazy? the bit. Oh! I, I remember it. Uh, my girlfriend was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's snowing. What? Just like nonchalant, she's just like, eh, it's snowing again. It is. Really? I mean, I it's snow here. It's like, it's like. I went. <laughs> God, I and she's like, here. "What the hell are you monkeying for?" And I'm like, "Dude, it doesn't snow here." Yeah, dude. Last time it snowed was, it did snow a little last year, but otherwise it's like every four years. Maybe. Me and the fellas going big chimpin mode. Chimpin <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> Eight minutes of this thing is just gonna be us going big chimpin mode. <laughs> big chimpin. I'm glad. Be big, 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 big chimpin mode. I be chimpin mode. Big chimpin. Yes. We pimp chimpin. Pimp chimpin. <laughs> um, what are you gonna talk about? I'm, I'm uh, trying sorry, to drop something. I'm trying to work on uh the next video other than this, which is probably gonna come out like December. Uh really? I'm, I wanna get out I wanna get fear you pong out. Me like you ate me. What you want? The 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 little scraps of fear pong. I wanna upload that. You made a fear pong video? Joke. Yeah, I had the phone yeah. recording for a reason. When we did fear pong. Oh you you wanna upload that? I wanna try, dude. Dude, I need to upload the uh hot dog 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 dog. 
I'm aware. That was like a year or two Dude, ago. Dude, it's like seventy percent right? edited. Dog, dog, dog. Ooh. How long does it take you to edit? Not that long, but like you know, my For motivation. Box, we get our stuff done in like my motivation a like sunk. <laughs> what was that? Especially since we do we do less editing than you do. Yeah, it like I actually have like a background going on. Yeah, we the suicide have, hotline. And I have to like Britain. listen through Dude, all the audio to make themselves. sure no one says the <laughs> n word. We, all we gotta do is um, basically just um, put the background of like the podcast name and then put overlay the audio and then upload it. Yeah, but for me, it's just it like, takes like maybe okay, an hour guys. with processing. It's just like okay, guys, don't change my name for the eighth time. I have to edit it out each time, guys. Please. <laughs> And then like that was literally like when we did the when we did um the um, the one where we just built anything we were talking about yeah you know the only one we had to extensively edit is um the one where Muhammad dropped like five f bombs in a row because our podcast is endorsed by our school yeah so, like we're allowed we're allowed to curse but like fuck. not like yeah we're allowed to be like like ah oh, fuck that or like ah oh, man that's a piece of shit but, like we can't like be like it can't. It can't be like twice in a sentence. Oh, Otherwise, no saying say the N word. word. I'm gonna say no the N saying. word. But no the, saying the for N a, word. For a podcast endorsed by a school, we weirdly get away with a lot. Like Muhammad yeah, is Muslim, do. and he make he he makes a lot of like bomb jokes. And like me and Trey just kind of look at you like, are we allowed to laugh at you? Like, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how his name is Muhammad. <laughs> 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 His name is Muhammad. He's making bomb jokes. Like, dude, that's the worst name to have while you're doing this. He's like, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. bomb a school, and everyone's like, ah. Uh, dude, your name. You can't do that. You can't say that again. It's funny, but you can't do you're that. Gonna, you're gonna reinforce the stereotype, Muhammad. You're gonna, you're gonna make the run of them. You're gonna make us serve two metal detectors, dude. Uh, Morty, you're you're reinforcing the stereotype. Okay. Mort. 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 You do not comprehend this situation we are currently in. Mort, if you could just look at this from an objective perspective, it would all be over in like no time. Good transition. What do you guys think of ice? I enjoy it. This section of our podcast is sponsored by Ice. Ice. I I get e all ice. the money for this put segment. Ice. You you guys get uh, none of it. See ice. E ice. Ice. Put it in your damn water. Ice. It literally just is water. Do you know what ice stands for? Ice. Ice stands for something. And don't say my first and last name on a podcast. I can. Yeah. Ice can stands for, for ice. Ice. I. Uh, ice, sea ice, 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 baby. E ice, ice, sea ice, sea ice, e ice. It's just, you see, we it's just ice. ice I I know. I didn't. I didn't think it was an acronym. Yeah, that's what. That's that's where you're wrong, loser. <laughs> Today's episode was also sponsored by Netflix. Uh, it's me, I think. Yeah, watch your name. Horseman. On Netflix. It's my name now. It's Netflix. Watch Netflix. which ro uh, watch Rock and Mord uh, Mortem. You want to take that one again? <laughs> yeah, I'll take another shot. Sure, whatever. Are y'all gonna like help me with the server? Or, or... No. What do you mean help you with the server? We're recording a podcast. I know, but like you can work on it while he we're recording. He likes doing things during podcasts. I do. Literally, I was just playing Rec Room because I I didn't know what to do. You're kind of lame, you know that? I didn't like Rec Room. And that's why you're lame. And gay. Uh, you guys like, uh... Getting Dick copyrighted? Balls? No, getting yeah. copyrighted, but okay. You got copyrighted on something? Why? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Just happened? Mm-hmm. So cool. anyways, I went on the sped bus today. Uh, yeah, why did you? Okay. 
so this morning, uh, I got up, I felt like I was in a cheap apartment due to how my room is now laid out, um, I got ready, uh, I got out, uh, spent like five minutes- You wake up, get up, get out there? Yeah, I, I spent like five minutes, uh, at the bus stop without realizing I had my backpack in my room still. I ran, grabbed my backpack- Got back to the bus stop, waited another five minutes, and I was like, this guy is, or this whammon is real late this time. I was an old guy, and he was driving a sped bus. Uh, and he had, like, the emergency, like, blinky lights, you know? Uh -huh. He had those gone. And I got on, and it was just, like, the sussest thing ever. He was like, you go to school, right? Uh, I'm gonna censor that, obviously, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Uh, uh, you gotta, yeah, either uh, either way, hacker mans, you gotta you gotta fear him. Fear the hacker man. Hacker man. Uh, either way. Uh, hacker yeah, man, it, take me by the hand. Chairs were blue. There were seat belts. It was icky. There were cameras why don't everywhere. All, why don't all buses have seat belts? Like, legitimate question. Because uh, no one cares. Yeah, yeah, but like, because I want to die. If, if I'm on a school bus, I already want to die. The seatbelts are to restrain <laughs> That's actually them. Surprisingly true. Not to keep them safe. <laughs> less kids, less money to spend. Yeah, uh, but yeah, there were there were cameras everywhere, which I didn't even realize until um I was on my way back when there were a bunch of Hispanic kids I didn't like. Um, I hate Hispanic kids too. Same. Indeed. Even though I'm one of those, but I mean like the the. Yeah, other I was about ones. to say, Ed, uh, I got some news for you. <laughs> Hispanic kids be like, "Hola, I'm a Hispanic kid," and then I'm Hispanic just like. Hispanic kids Ey. be like cursing in Spanish, with no regard for other people, because they're Hispanic. It's like, hey, don't worry, they don't understand us. That doesn't mean you're not a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Like I understand you. Like why you? I mean, that's my feeling. <laughs> But yeah, you know, Don't it's just, worry. It's, it's just a green though. It's like, bruh. Like, I hope this is just a today thing. Like, if I have to actually do this. I've literally been called a gringo before by Hispanic kids. I'm like, you know, we get caught, taught gringo in Spanish class, right? No, yeah. you don't. What the hell? What Spanish? Yeah, you do. You in my sixth grade Spanish class, they told us what gringo meant. My teacher never told me that. Huh. And I went to Ed's middle school, and I still bro, didn't know that. Bro, they taught us better. that. How do you not remember? Who? Who taught you that? Which teacher? I, we can't say the name. I don't remember, dude. Either way. Yeah. I just remember it was in that same video where it's like the... Where, remember I was talking about how like Mole doesn't like have a translation to English, but like there's a bunch of people who's like, No, you can translate it. It's, it's a spicy chocolate. Even though it doesn't contain any chocolate. It was in that same uh -huh. video. No, I guess I just didn't pay attention. Yeah, why would that you? That sounds like you. Of course he didn't. Mole is spicy chocolate. Mole, no, it's not. Mole in English you mean spicy chocolate, even though it's a bunch of ground up peppers that just happen to like, taste sweet, even though it like, tastes like garbage. What are you talking about, guys? Like, Come on, why are you it's slathering that on your chicken? Like, ew. Mexican people <laughs> be like... Yeah, French class is pretty cool. Yeah, you eat crickets? I actually have eaten a cricket. Why? How crunchy was it? It was extremely crunchy, and it's actually delicious. It was this, one of those ones that you is buy, the like part where I call you it, a frog because oh. you ate a cricket. No, it was it was my that teacher bought them from some like novelty Spanish store because like it's apparently kind of candy there. Like you gut it, deep fry it, and cover it in this like powder. It was actually really good. It was kind of like. I think, I think she's insane, and I think you should run. No, she didn't make them. And this was in sixth grade. It was like years ago now. Uh, Nowhere. Still on your Time watch. doesn't move. Check. Yeah. I was going to say that. God like damn how it. we just immediately go to puns. You just immediately just go to sarcastic jokes. Of course. Do you know us? No, I don't actually. I'm Kyle, by the way. Ew. Uh, there, there's a bit of video. What's your middle name? Glitches going on. Um, just like Nori. 
my two viewers. Hi, guys. Hey. Random guy on internet number one. Random guy on internet number two. Why are you Other people that guy, don't huh? exist. Because. You think women would watch this? Yeah, you're right. You think they even have, like, the willpower to dig through this garbage? You think no, anyone searches by the latest hour? You can do that? No. You can do that. Well, <laughs> I guess me saying that's pretty good representation of how many people do it. Yeah, I mean, like, on Twitch, it's way you have a way higher chance of, like, getting yeah. acknowledged. Because it's just like... Speaking of Twitch, do you guys want to stream the last game um, of our D&D session just for fun? Since that's just going to be a bunch of... Kind it's going to be a lot of combat. I love my friends out of context asking me stuff. Like, they mean to ask me something very important, but they don't give a que They don't give, like... Basically, my friend just texted me, What age are you? <laughs> no, do you <laughs> have an age? Jonathan just texted me out of nowhere. Do you have an age? <laughs> that's do you Jonathan have an heard. age? What's your age? Do you have and I was one? Like, I knew what he meant, but I still said 15. Aren't you 16? No. When, what, is, your to birthday be. late summer, right? Yeah, it's late summer. Oh, I turned you're 15 fucking... late summer. You're, you're a youngin'. Yeah. Huh. Dude, like, we should get quarantined literally... on this. I'm also no. a full year ahead of you. I'm, dude, I literally, uh, all I do Child. is fight with Quantity. I do not, like... I know, but that's entertaining. Yeah, watching uh, watching your, like, two friends fight is fucking funny. It's wrong. You should know, Felix. I'm... That wasn't funny, dude. I had a panic attack. And I didn't well, even no, do not anything that. bad. No, oh! Not that. What? The 9-11 thing. Oh, the Trent thing? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, no. Watching what, you and Trent fight is funny. gave you a panic attack? Oh, I thought you were talking about something different. The yesterday thing? Yeah, I thought you were talking that about that. That wasn't fun for what? anyone. That wasn't, no, uh, one person. Everyone definitely... left feeling awful. Not everyone. One person kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, no, th she definitely did. But I, I no that was like the worst feeling I've had to in what like months. <laughs> you, you don't get context and neither do the viewers. You just know you that know something what? happened. That's all right. Yeah. We both had panic so, attacks, and you're and you're uh in the person the other thing they were just like kind of having their fun. Thank you for having one, so I don't have to. Jesus Christ, I love Is that. Is that how that works? Can they be exchanged like tokens? I mean, I tried. <laughs> I'll just be standing outside, like breathing, like, can you can you take this for me? <laughs> take this for me. Oh my god, can you take this for me? Every time I have a panic attack. <laughs> Every time I just have a panic attack, I just text my girlfriend iced coffee right now, and she's like, okay. I don't know what that's that a, means. It's, actually it's the funny TikTok joke. Do you get the TikTok joke? Drink iced coffee, panic attack, get it? It's actually not a bad idea to have a code word for when you're, like, feeling anxious or depressed. So it's like, you could text Yeah, but it's based off of a TikTok meme, and I feel like it's generous. It's stupid. Uh, uh-huh. I'd probably, if I were to do that, I'd probably come up with something, like, nerdy. When I have a panic attack, I, I just do. scream. My spider senses are tingling. No, that Wait, just sounds like, that, that just sounds actually. like you're that just sounds my like you're horny. My, my wee wees. In Spider Man Three, they actually did make a joke about that. Dude, if you say wee wee, you're just wrong. Wee wee. If wee -wee? you've ever called your penis your wee wee, you have to. You're like just four. incorrect. Your priorities are just, no, never. I never did that. I've only Dude, ever if you said name that. Ironically, okay, alternately. okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you ever had a name for your penis other than penis, you were definitely groomed, molested, raped, or sexually what harassed. Dick or cock. No, if yeah, if you had a name for it that wasn't like a normal, like genetic name. Oh, like like, like Jonathan. Here's like, my John. What, like a name name. Like if you named it anything <laughs> that wasn't like penis, cock, dick, or anything like that, you were Here, definitely Miko Haku. you you were definitely groomed. In some sort of way, yeah. Because that's just Your it's way. a statistic. <laughs> it's statistically a thing. Wait, it's just like here's my junkie. That was a really good unzipping noise. Hey, yeah, I, I, you want to see my, my John Hancock? <laughs> I, I pulled Fucking out God. my Nintendo 3DS holder. Oh, you dude, that I have that like right. Yeah, that makes me sad. But... The other day, the DS section was removed from Nintendo's website, so it's like 
fully fuck? gone now. Ow. That's fucking stupid. I, I need Quanzi to, to help honey. me homebrew my DS, my regular one. My 3DS is great. That one's good. That was, he, he didn't have to do DS that. DS last a while. I've noticed that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they they could like last through like a bomb or something. I I wouldn't doubt. Oh it. yeah, you, you know my exactly DS. I haven't charged it. I haven't charged my DS in like ten years, and all of a sudden I like booted it up, and it was just like, Same. "Yep, you are on ninety percent battery." What? Pog. But then I leave my phone on a table for a day, and then it's just like, "Shoot, you're on negative three, dude." Dying. It's just gonna be Mario. Like, I'm dying. Peter! Oh, Peter, I'm dying! Peter! Peter, I'm dying! Peter! Yeah, by the way, while you, were, while you weren't in the call, you were just like, Peter, I'm dying! Peter! Peter, I'm dying! Peter! I kind of want to draw that. Just Me like too. for this one bit, where we're just like, doing that. That'd be annoying, though, having like, "Quote unquote," animate that, but it's just like the, the, what's it? The important frames. I don't know what those are called. I'm stupid. Anyways, politics. I'm reading over the uh, um the Norman server. The people who actually witnessed him were are called Norman witnesses. Witnesses. It's it's a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, I know. I got the joke. A writer of the word of Norman, you actually have to write, like, fake Bible, I guess. No, I will. <laughs> I'm committed. The Bible. All right, then. I tried, no, but I, I just gave that up. that appear in the campaign, or the next Mermel. campaign. Oh, yeah. the, the Book of Norman? The Book of Norman. I forgot it's called that. <laughs> yeah, dude, you can literally just do Norman. It, Norman. Norman. We, ha we have to have someone play a cleric and follow Norman. <laughs> One of you. I, I, would, I, I, I don't think Andrew's decided his class yet. Someone get him to play a cleric. No, he's bard, right? DM. No, he said he's rethinking his character. Remember, dude. He's rethinking his character because I said I was going to be bard. Please, but now you're not. Please. No, I'm rabid. Yeah. Right? yeah you because you were going to play Joe Holly. Yeah. Please. Joe Holly. Joe Holly. I will make him Mormon. I think of all people, Andrew would be most likely to bite. Huh? To be a Norman addict. Like I feel like he would actually want to play that. Yeah. Just hopefully it doesn't end up another Cthulhu. Oh, I I I want you to add Cthulhu to the next campaign in some capacity. No, I want you to keep it out. Why? I hated that so much. Mm -hmm. That was the worst bit. Mm -hmm. It was funny. All right, boys, you, you, you think it's about time to end this thing? No, his brother's just dying in the background. Nice. He came in here and he was like, you know what lying is? I. That's what I was thinking. I was like, what? Yeah, I was just like, Technoblade. I didn't watch Technoblade. I told him to watch Technoblade because he was saying how, like, oh, I watched Dream again. He's pretty cool. I hate Dream. Did you know that Dream is ableist? He Dream. No, he he since. I still hate he's Dream. Out lame. I don't care if he's an ableist. I don't like Dream. I just dislike him. Dream can say tart all he wants. I still am gonna hate him. Today I'm playing Minecraft, but with only Boys, my I have, to make, I have to make haste. I can't. I can. I'll. I'll. I cannot. I cannot talk if I'm done. With my thing after, I'll, I'll come back, but for now, this is my time. Goodbye. Cringe. He's dead. Goodbye. Can I, can I, can I plug my podcast while, before I leave? Yes, plug your podcast. It'll be All in right. the description, along uh, with the subscription to, the to Netflix. Box podcast. It's about uh, comic books and superheroes and stuff. Me and my friends run it. It's super cool. We might have these two. We might have these two on one day. Who knows? Probably like tomorrow. One. One. One day. Yeah. One day. All right. See y'all later. That's my piece. Bye. Goodbye. He's dead. He's dead.
He's dead. Yeah. Anyways, uh, when are we gonna do the funeral? You thinking like next, like Thursday or whatever? never? Yeah, it's. Uh, we don't have money for that. I doubt <laughs> you think you we do have either. money for a fu for a funeral? No. Yeah. Remember Blake? Yeah. I blocked him. I think. Why? I dude, you kept on like, dude. What are you doing? Remember, remember the anime girl bit he did. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that, that that was the thing that did it for me. That that really, that like that made me walk up to the manager. You know. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> they have an arcade coin pusher here. Huh. Like I just doing whatever. Well, I'm just like sitting at my screen. Uh, topic for today. Spooky uh, Halloween. It is spooky Halloween almost. Yeah, almost. Uh, in like, what? Nine days? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be going as my pumpkin guy. My my Oshi, uh, and I will have to carve it at my house this time with yes. an actual knife. Cause you got Crayola melting molds for knives. I'm just I don't know why people were I I've had like five people come up to me and be like, all right, so I'm gonna see you at your house, right? And I'm like, dude, huh? I apparently have like 30 different people thinking that they're coming to my house for Halloween. Bro. I don't know how to tell all of them that I'm not going to be at my house. What are you going to do even? My friend wants, my friend is like, yo, cats. And I'm like, it's kind of lame. Imagine like. Like I know. Have the boys over. And that is facts. People. I like harassing people. Yeah, those dang minorities. The hell yeah. <laughs> Asterix <laughs> Pog. I, I I should probably put up context for that. You know the you know the thing I sent in the chat. I do. It was my lunch period, and I was bored. So I I was like. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't at all. I was at home. It was lunch period for you. Uh, I was on my computer and I, I was just like, I don't know, this standard galactic translator thingy. And I'm pretty sure we use the same website. Um, yeah, Lingo Jam. Yeah, Lingo Jam. Uh, Lingo Jam's really good. I made, I tried is. to make my own language. It didn't work. It's very difficult. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just like, what's offensive? that people aren't gonna understand. So I was just like, I think we should weed out the minority systematically. And then, and then uh, Kyle, the guy who he's just on, he was just like, cool. Because <laughs> he doesn't understand Standard Galactic. Yeah, and then you're like, my guy straight up said, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I did. That was great. We should do that more often. <laughs> harass people in standard galactic and make them think that make them racist in standard galactic yes that's an interesting way to cancel someone have them say racist things but like have them agree with racist things in standard galactic yeah or at least like the concept versus like they don't understand what you're saying but it's racist and they agree um what's your r what's your rp name uh, I hate this. What's your R? What's your What's, what's your, your P name? Michael. <laughs> what, what? Wait. What's his name again? Maurice. Maurice. You remember Maurice? I love it. I do. He's dead by now. 
Is he? If he's not dead, someone removed the uh, coffee table. So it's either he's dead or he's free. Or both. I feel like he's free. I, they can't die, though. So I feel like he's just free. Well, this life. I mean, they can die, but like, there's no weapons. I mean, yeah, there's weapons, but you can't use it. Dude, I swear there's weapons. What do you mean you swear? I know there's weapons. Of course. You just can't use it, smile. This man. Look at him, just a small little man in his He's just a little man in all the world. I have no idea what's going on. I just hear growling in the background. It's the cat. Why is the cat growling? Because I uh, picked him up and then started kissing him. The dog is supposed to do that. Why is your cat your dog? Mm -hmm. Hey, Peaches, why are you my dog? Bark. Wow. Why'd it bark? It's kind of weird. Bark, bark. Rough, bark. I think I actually have to go because it's dinner time. Bro, imagine eating. I don't do that. I know. It's gross. I don't Youtubers either. Don't That's why I'm sorry. Uh, you're gross, dude. Sorry, I'm a Smash player. I don't shower, bathe, or eat. All you consume the is only thing I eat is little kids' ass. Because yeah. I'm a Smash player. It's funny because he's a Smash player. Smash player, he's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're gonna leave it here. Yes. Uh, There's a red button that you can press. And it does a little magic thing. If you press that, while well, you have like a hoodie on. And like earbuds in if you reach into a little pocket there's like a warm cookie it's not warm from like being in an oven it's your body heat i can't tell what the bit is here me neither there's just like a scenario i was in where it's like this cookie is cold it goes in here now it'll be warm later and i was like this sounds like a bit where it's like subscribing your front you'll have a cookie but uh, actually, though, if you subscribe, there will be a pizza roll underneath your stomach, uh, to quote raccoon eggs. You'll find it under your stomach. Yep. If you, if you want to eat it, you have to dig it out. Yep. With a knife. Uh, you have to use you, a shovel. See you next March.